It's what triggers that beep you hear at the grocery store checkout. That little series of black and white lines appears not just on everything we buy now, it's how we manage all kinds of things. The barcode turns 40 today, and Christina Stevens looks at how a simple invention transformed how we all live. It's a sound so familiar it almost fades into the background, but it's something we can't live without. The lowly barcode. It changed everything. Those stripes burst onto the scene 40 years ago today, when a 10 pack of Wrigley's Juicy Fruit was swiped through the till in Troy, Ohio. Canada has some uh, lay to fame as well because the second scanning store in the world was actually in Montreal in a Steinberg's. Credited with revolutionizing the retail industry, barcodes became so ubiquitous in 1992, then U.S. President George Bush was ridiculed after showing intense wonder at how it worked. He'd never seen one before. More than six billion transactions around the world are done with barcodes daily, proving inspirational to some. This is my barcode Marilyn Monroe portrait made with 1,944 barcodes. Scan the Maryland UPCs and it'll play clips from her movies. Barcodes are artist Scott Blake's main medium. Just fascinated at um, this whole language and kind of um, the way that they encode everything in the world. Even healthcare. North York General Hospital was one of the first in Canada to barcode drug doses in 2010. Nurses scan themselves, the patient, and the medication to make sure it's all correct. It's extremely important. In our first year, we averted over 2,000 potential errors. The barcode is in transition with advances like QR codes used for big ticket items and small, adding more and more details for consumers, like origin and expiry date. Everybody wants more information. I think it's the barcode's one way to do it. There are radio frequency ones and new digital versions are being developed for online shopping. Leading some to ask, what's next, people? There's that line in the book of Revelation, something about the mark of the beast, um, that we're all going to have this, um, this symbol on our palm or on, on our hand. You know, and some people speculate that that's the barcode. While it might not go quite that far, the barcode is sticking around. It's 40 years young. It's got another 400 years ago. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.